Dobro Dan from a very sunny Belgrade in Serbia. In this video I'm going to take you on a graffiti street art tour around the city. Now the graffiti around the city is very controversial, it divides opinions. Me personally, I like it. Well I like the good stuff, the bad stuff I'm not too bothered with. But the good stuff you'll find in the Dorchel area of which I'm in right now. So let's go and have a look around and see what we can find. Now the Dorchel area is predominantly a partisan Belgrade football team supporters area. As you can tell by this graffiti here, obviously you've got a guy with the colours and it says loud, proud and punk. The Partisan fans are known as the Grubbery. So we'll see a lot of pieces by them around this area. This guy's got a Partisan scarf around his neck. He's possibly a fan. Let me know in the comments. Behind me is Joe Strummer, who is the lead singer of a punk group called The Clash in the 70s and 80s. I believe the connection here, why this Englishman is in Belgrade, Serbia, in this area, is because the Grubbery are known as the Grave Diggers. Now, history goes, Joe Strummer, before he formed the band The Clash, he was a grave digger in Wales. But he soon quit that job, and he formed that band, and he never looked back since. I absolutely love The Clash, and Joe Strummer is an absolute legend. Love this piece of artwork. Here's Brad Pitt, star of two of my favourite films, Fight Club and Snatch. Mickey One Punch in Snatch was absolutely hilarious. A right geezer. Again, some of this stuff I'm not too keen on, but this is quality. I think this guy might be a goalkeeper by the looks of things. Obviously, you can see here, you've got a guy, looks like a ball, a uh, net at the back. It's possibly a goalkeeper. And you've got the punk PFC to the side of him. Again, let me know in the comments. Behind me, this is Eddie Grant, who's a Guyanese British singer songwriter with hits like Electric Avenue and I Don't Wanna Dance. I'm not gonna start singing for you, I don't wanna make it rain, it's a sunny day today. But yeah, this guy's a legend too. He's also here because apparently he supports Partisan Belgrade. I've just spotted something here. This isn't graffiti, but this is a poster. And this is the famous English supermodel from the 60s, Twiggy. How cool is that? And next to her is a singer called Nada Knezovic. Really like that piece. Really groovy. I like his suit. Gangster. Here's another very cool piece. He looks like an ex-player, possibly. Really do like that. I don't know who this dude is. He looks like a film star. I'll tell you what, all this walking definitely keep you fit. <laughs> This piece behind me is fresh artwork. This man needs no introduction. It's the late, great Diego Armando Maradona, a proper rock and roll footballer. Rest in peace, Diego. You got a guy over there with another Paisan Belgrade scarf around his neck. Could be a fan or a player. And moving over, we've got something over the background here that looks very psychedelic. There you go, here's another great piece. She looks also like a film star, but with the football in the background, I think it could be part unrelated. Let me know. Okay, I've left the Dorchel area now. I'm going for a rakia at the Belgrade Design District. There's a cafe there I really, really like. I need this rakia after all that walking, absolutely knackered. So it's goodbye from me and goodbye from James Brown. <laughs>